Hi folks, well it's been quite a while since I've posted anything uh, on YouTube but I thought this might be useful. I hope you're all um, staying safe in uh, the situation that we're in now. It's a very, very different world we're living in and uh, I understand that uh, some of you may be struggling. On that point, um, I know a few people have been mentioning they struggled getting the right size canvases and um, uh, I stopped using canvases in, to any great degree anyway some time ago when I was introduced by my good friend Jonathan Breyer to uh, using MDF which I found to be very very useful. Um, anyway without further ado um, it's something that I've been using quite a long time now. I think you'd probably find it uh, really quite handy you can cut it to whatever size you want. I tend to use it uh, in boards uh, three millimeters thick and uh, just recently I've been using it sort of A3 size, which you can cut to whatever size you want. Anyway, without further ado, how I actually prime it, I'm just gonna spin the camera around now using a new app, because I can't do this with the iPad or the iPhone, which is really a, uh, quite a frustrating thing, but I'm gonna spin that around and point out um, what I use and um, just very quickly run through it. Okay, let's try this. Well, it works. Look, we can point the camera at what I'm using. So, down here, this plastic tub. Very, very useful um, kind of thing you can buy in lots of different stores. And um, it's airtight. And inside, ready mixed um, acrylic primer. Now, basically, all I've used is the stuff that you can see here on the left which is a water-based acrylic primer for wood. Okay, this stuff comes in tubs this size. You can buy it in tubs smaller. It is considerably cheaper than buying artist materials, um, things like gesso and so on and so forth, considerably cheaper. So there's an awful lot in there. And then I mix it with cheapest chips acrylic paint. I'm not gonna, well, you can see it's very, very cheap. By using a clear plastic tub, I can see when it's fully mixed. And if it's airtight like that, and you keep the lid on, then you've got it for a long, long time. Typically, of course, now the lid's not fitting properly, but there we are. This is TV, and it's live. There we are. Tidy sized brush, painted on, and you'll end up with a surface. This is an off cut, like that. Uh, you can paint on top of that with acrylic, but more importantly for me, I can paint on top of that with oil. And crucially, it means that when I'm out on site painting outdoors, plein air, I've got something that's already sky blue. It works incredibly well. And of course, you can prime with other colours if you're a, um, a portrait painter or whatever it is you want to paint. Your base colour could be whatever colour you want. So there's my tip, really useful and all done in less than five minutes. So stay safe, shop around. As far as MDF is concerned, be very careful when you're cutting it. It is not the nicest of stuff and you should cut it in a well ventilated area. If you can get it ready cut as this is, that's cut to A3 laser cut. You can buy packs of that, 20 packs for not an awful lot of money and still in under five minutes. Okay, stay safe, take care.